This is the video that accompanies the post passing data between Orchestra Graphics here at skatabank.com. Hopefully you've read the post and you'll kind of understand these graphics better. These were developed to go along with what I typed in that post. So if I look at the uh, script for this first object called Widget, you can see I added in a little bit extra where I'm going to let you read either from an object in the galaxy or from InTouch. So based on a custom property called dSource, uh, if it's zero, I want to read from an object. So it executes those first six lines of code, which is binding those Z custom properties to galaxy objects. And then the second set, um, the else statement, means you've got dSource set to a one which means you want to bind it to an InTouch super tag so it runs those other six lines of script. And the only part that's different is the second argument in each function either is pointing to an object reference or to an InTouch colon super tag reference. And you can see over on the left here I've got a couple other scripts. Um, they're just, I'm using those to calculate colors and, and re-trigger the calculations which I talk about in the post. Uh, let me OK this and look at the rectangle now. This is the piece that calls the pop-up with the show graphic function. And one difference here is that I've got two custom properties in the array because I need to pass that D source uh, value to the pop-up so it knows what to bind to. The other thing that's critical though is if you look at this script, I only have to pass the name, the text name of the source of data that I'm binding to. So either the text name of the object or the text name of the super tag. And then that script we just looked at is going to handle binding to all the properties or sub-members uh, within that object. So if I zoom back out here, let me uh, OK this and let's take a look at what is getting called. So what is our pop-up? I just kind of drew this to show some data. Uh, I called this widget faceplate and it also has that on show script that's exactly the same as the calling object. That's why I had to pass D source. So it could also bind to the correct source of data. All the other pieces of data I've got just drawn here on the screen and because it's binding to that data, it is a live connection just like the calling rectangle. So let's switch into Window Maker now. And you can see I've got the data live on the screen, one from SuperTag and one from the object in the galaxy called Test. And let's, let me double click on the uh, rectangle called Widget and see initially how I have it set up. I've got a zero, meaning read from an object and I just have to say the name of the object is test. Test has all those UDAs that are listed there. So if I run this, you can see it's correctly showing auto mode, 57.33, and if I click on the rectangle to do the show graphic, there's my pop-up, and I've got my set point data. I can go to manual mode with the, the selector switch, you can see the data is being, being written back to the object and being reflected on the graphic that called this pop-up. So I enter 8001 here and it gets reflected or written back to that object. 2.22 gets written back. And again, changing the selector switch is reflected in that graphic. Um, I think I was, yeah, I made this data so I could change it here. So you can see even the pop-up is getting live data because they're both bound to that object in the galaxy. Let me close that and uh, switch back into Window Maker. And I'm going to go change this object so that it is supposed to read an InTouch super tag. So I change that flag to a 1. I give it the name of the super tag, which is widget, oops, widget 001 let me OK this and I'll take this into runtime I'm gonna have to scroll over here to get runtime 
click that scroll back so you can see the data so correctly showing auto mode in that super tag and 56.56 if I pop the pop-up it's now reading all the data that it bound to in that super tag so I change the high set point it's written to the super tag 99.99 I switch the mode it's correctly writing the mode back to the super tag members and reflecting it in my calling widget I can change the value field in widget and you'll see that it's reflected in the pop-up and in the super tag so both graphics are bound to the correct data source I want to reiterate one last time what really makes this effective is being able to just pass the name of what you're binding to rather than like I have done in the past um, passing 20 30 40 different values um, to the called graphic doing it this way and binding on show of the pop-up graphic just lets me pass at a minimum I could just pass one thing now I'm passing two because I'm doing a little more and it's possible you might have to pass four or five maybe up to ten things if you're passing strings or something like that that's not inside an object but it's really nice you could get away with passing one single text string which is the name of the object you want to bind to on each pop-up